yo what's going on boys back again with another video so in this video it's a bit different from what i usually make it's gonna be a pov but my girlfriend will be driving so i think i'm gonna hold the camera just because i don't want her to have to put on the head mount and all of that but i'm gonna make her drive the f30 today she has driven the car before but since it's tuned and like lowered and everything she's driven it like twice and she did not really step on it i think one of the times it was raining too so she hasn't felt the power of the car as yet like she's felt it in the passenger seat but like her driving it she's never actually stepped on it so i'm gonna make her do that today i do trust her driving skills you know she's a good driver but the only thing i'm kind of worried about is this car is way faster than hers and it's rear wheel drive so if you don't know what you're doing you might spin out but you know hopefully it goes all well and my car is super low as well because i'm used to i'm used to the car being this low so i know how to go over bumps and stuff like not to break my lip but i'm not sure how well she can do that so we're gonna find out today hopefully it goes all well but i'll show you boys i'll be in the passenger seat i will hold the camera like i said and it's kind of sick bro to be in the passenger seat on my own car because the car feels different in the passenger seat i know it feels probably faster and stuff but yeah you guys will see what's up though Real quick just give you some little revs it is in comfort right now you want to use the paddle shifters or just oh, all right put it over there you know to use it right i don't have to remind you Jeez. <laughs> nope you don't don't shift that fast that's too high of rpms but it's because i'm coming i'm stopping but you're not close to the stop yet you slow down then down shift then so when do i go to one now yeah, you see how the car is not under pressure. Now you can go to one. You don't Damn, need. Look at that! Look at that! Damn. That's one of the Z. I think he has a wide body kit. That guy just blew the stop sign. You also have to upshift. See, now it doesn't pop every time. Because uh, I remember I turn it down and then change the RPMs. Pop every time I press this. The paddle is, but you can use this. You can use this too. Because, well, I guess you drive like this, but I'm driving like this usually. And, uh, who holds a steering like that? <laughs> like this. Like girls, I guess, do. Uh, you can use I this to downshift. Like this. Look, you can use this. Um, if you push it complex. forward, and see, so you don't have to go in first gear until you're actually stopped. But remember when you used to go down every shift, it used to pop too. Now it doesn't either, even when you come down to a stop. No, because then I set the RPMs to this, so it only Bye. pops between two and a half to three and a half. So oh. 2,500 and 3,500 only pops between. Oh, you have I to upshift. <laughs> you can't. It, it's that's why I say if you want to use the paddles, you keep it in that. If you want it to shift itself. Yeah, I think I want it to shift itself. But then it's not gonna sound as good. You don't have to get I off the gas to upshift either. To you know, you don't have to let go off the gas to upshift. Just, yeah, see the now it pops there. So you see it's between. See, it only pops now between 2.5 and 3.5. Yeah, it's easier to explain it. It's saying 2.5 to you. Yeah. But each thing is a thousand, so it's between 2,500 to 3.5. You see? Yeah. Now you get it, kind of. Yeah, but you just have to remember to upshift. You can tell when the car wants to upshift, you will hear it and you'll feel the pressure. Because I also have the XHP tune, so if you don't upshift, it's never upshifting for you. <laughs> you can downshift now, make it pop one more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you weren't stuck behind this guy, you could have stepped on it. Try to step on it down here, but just remember to upshift. Yeah, go. Yeah, by the end of this video, I'll need a new transmission. <laughs> Put it in automatic. It's an automatic. We can't do this at the same time. And wait. Oh, it, 
it's just like nor it's driving a normal car you're just changing the gear yourself it's normal for you you drive it every day i drive it once a year no oh, once a year okay when yeah when the light goes green you just step on it and go yeah but i step on it but then how do i when do i shift up when it, when it feels right there's no I set see. time just when it feels all right i'll just put it in that so yeah. it's automatic you don't need to touch the paddles and you just but it's rear wheel drive so you just don't floor it but step on it a good amount I can't, you know the turn is right here like right where yeah my, that's fine just don't floor it because if you floor it it's gonna spin yeah see <laughs> it's not yeah, but, that bad it's doing it for me once you get used to it, you're used to it. I think it's hard because you have to also know that it's low and then you're trying to do this but then you have to watch it for a bump and then swerve and then it's like you're still multitasking. It's not really. Once you're used to it, it's kind of like driving if I manual. If drive every day, then yeah. But. yeah it's kind of like driving manual. Like right now, if I were to drive a manual, I had to think about it. But exactly. when it gets normal, it's it, it feels like nothing. I'm going to grab some Jamaican food. I've never bought it here. I bought it once. It was like last week. And we just found out that there's literally like seven places in Ottawa for like Jamaican. Yeah, if you guys don't know, I am so. Jamaican. And the food, bro, is 10 out of 10 if you guys have tried it. But I've never tried it here. I just thought it wouldn't be good, but I actually bought it last week. It was really good, so I'm going to get some more right now. But it's going to be traffic because it's downtown. So yes, yeah, I don't know. Either, either going to continue with you driving back into Peoria or me driving back. I don't know. Oh, wow. Rude. <laughs> Check the lip. Guys, I hit it. As soon as I stopped recording, <laughs> she hit the craziest bump. Because he, there was a biker and you're t he was telling me to pass it. And I said, but no, I can't. And then next no, thing you know. Because I didn't see the bump. <laughs> I'm not looking in front of me. But yeah, the lip's fine. Yeah. Check out the parking job, bro. This car looks crazy. I'm going to take a thumbnail here, but need a car wash. But yeah, I'm going to take a thumbnail real quick though. I'm just parking up over here. The restaurant is somewhere over there, so do the drive back home <laughs> yeah, drive like that. Fit. nah i would crash like i can't even get the gas pedal <laughs> but yeah Just, your numbers Damn. this thing is so slow bro but at least i don't gotta move it myself it actually saves my setting but yeah it's downtown hopefully it's not too bad in traffic right now it's a bit later see where you would always pop so easily no because i know how to make it pop Pop sounds so good downtown though. Um, so. And they got a trunk loop on the Hyundai. I was see just that? gonna say, the girl, the girl's <laughs> yeah. yeah, I can't sleep on the lunches anymore though. Because that lunch I end that I ran into the other day thing was more than just an Elantra. I told you it's buy only it? inline. No, I wouldn't buy that. It's just because of I don't know, the expensive brand. Are, like, who just yeah. Nah. Kind of why I don't think I could buy a Supra either. As nice as it is, B58. Oh, that you're saying that. I don't think I could spend that much on a Toyota though. End of the day, it's a BMW, like everything, but it's still a Toyota badge. But they are nice though, don't get me wrong. But I feel like just might as well buy the like a m340i at that point because it's the same price and it's well, the actual bmw yeah. Once. One, this one. is actually easy. 
Yeah, but... Okay, I'll shift for you. Okay. Alright, wait. Down shift, make it pop. Down, no, down shift. So. Oh, down is Again? Up. Yeah. Up shift. Yeah, up shift. Yeah, it's good enough. <laughs> Only thing with this, the Lexus was kind of weird. Because when you pull back on the Lexus, that was down shift. And when you push forward, that was up shift. Almost every other car is back is up shift, forward is down shift. They did it because they said, when you step on the car, it kind of throws you back. So it's hard to push it forward. I don't know what I'm saying. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Because when you press on it, it throws you back in the seat. So it's easier to pull it back to up shift. I don't know. And when you're slowing down, you go forward. So I don't know. It kind of makes sense. Kind of weird, but it does make sense. I never cut up on the highway. Let me know if you guys like this wide angle because usually I record on the angle that's slightly more zoomed in than this one but let me know if you guys like the ultra wide because I know you guys are seeing way more but I think on the edges of the video it might look like kind of like rounded and a weird effect but I don't know let me know what you guys think if you prefer the wide angle or you prefer the other angle that I always do in my POVs Now it's a little bit more warm. Wait till when winter comes again. Yeah. And you gotta wait. You wait uh, ten minutes to even move your car. Yeah, that's gonna suck. That sucks. Because remember, I had this last start. winter. Yeah. You gotta get that. I don't think you can. You can add it, but yeah, you it's, can add it any car. Air is not good for it though. What do you mean? The remote start. I heard it like mess. Oh, there's a dog. So I won't make it pop. But yeah, I heard it kind of messes up your starter or something, something like that. I, I'm really not, nice. I'm not gonna risk it. No, but yours came with it, so it's oh. different. But if I add it, some people say it works. Some says it's not recommended. I won't do it. Oh, like it, if so, like people who have yeah, like cars my car don't have it. Yeah, like they my car. Put it in and it's damaging. Yeah, some people say it does. I don't want to take the risk. It's not that big of a deal. I'll just go outside to start it. But last winter, remember, <laughs> I had the car, but it was not modded. Remember, it was stock, stock, so it was fine for winter. It was just a little bit hard. I got stuck a few times because it's rear wheel drive, but this winter is going to be even harder. Yeah. Because now it's lowered. You need one it's that faster. can do both. The only car that can do both is the M340. <laughs> That's what I said. Between the M340 and the M4, the M4 is going to be because worse than this for winter, though. Because Yeah, M but if you get an M4, you need another car that you can drive in the winter. Yeah. Because it's not even safe. Yeah, yeah. Because M4 is going to be way faster than and this. And if you mod it, it like this, you can't be driving like this. And if I get an M4, I am modding it like this. Mm -hmm. Even more than this. Let's see. I thought M's could do both, too. The new M's. Oh. Not the F82, because I can't afford the brand new M's. It has to be the F82. <laughs> so. 20, nah, I can't. Why are people parking back here? In a way, it's that full. Um, this is a nice little road, though. I hope up it's to the not beach. Full, I haven't been here in so long. It's right at sunset, so it might be full. Yeah, it might be. Don't do it, you're gonna scare the kid. I won't. <laughs> you're looking at me too. Oh, the parking <laughs> lot is pretty full. You should be able to get it. Yeah, yeah. the parking lot. Oh, my map is showing me all the way around here, so I'm just following that. But yeah, the new M's, X Drive, you can put it in rear wheel drive when you want. Same with the M340i though, you can put it in both. But the F82M4, strictly rear wheel drive. M340i, that would be good for winter. Only thing it would not be good is because I would lower it. So 
still gonna be kind of not so oh, good. You can get stuck. Yeah, because then it's extra. What um, what the uh, part is to worry about if you're lowered and there's like a snow build up, you can't get out. No, nah, I it's have to clear it. Stuck. Yeah. Like in the middle of the road, if it's not plowed or something, you're stuck. Yeah. So M340 is better in that case because it's all-wheel drive, so I, I won't get stuck. But it's still gonna be lowered. If I get one out, it's still lowered and all of that. Damn, it's packed over here. I've never seen this place this busy, but it's sunset. Uh, I don't think and we came at through. sunset. Because I've been here once, and we did not come at sunset. It was just midday, something like that. Oh my 